to the audiobook of New Social Studies, Grade 10. Unit 6, Lesson 11, Page Number 212 South America, Economic Activities and Social Life Introduction Before the invasion by the Europeans, South America was flourishing with organized Inca civilization from 1400 to 1500 AD. Spelling of Inca, I-N-C-A. Later, the Spanish and Portuguese colonization drive of the late 15th century led to the end of this civilization. South America became the colony of the Spanish and Portuguese. P-O-R-T-U-G-U-E-S-E Many Spanish and Portuguese started to migrate to South America. Their natural resources and valuable things were exploited and taken back to their countries. Again, during the transatlantic slave trade, South America, especially Brazil, became the home of millions of people brought from Africa. The different countries of the continent are inhabited by the descendant of Spanish, Portuguese and African people. At present, people from Italy, German, Japan, India, China, etc. are also found living in different parts of this continent. South America is rich in its economic resources, but they are not fully utilized. This is mainly due to the lack of technical knowledge in people. The major resources and economic activities of South America are number 1. Forest The selvas of the Amazon region are among the densest and largest rainforests of the world. They are rich in large varieties of plant and animal life. Commercially, these forests provide several varieties of hardwood and other trees. Vanilla and rubber trees are found here. Mahogany, M-A-H-O-G-A-N-Y, Ebony, E-B-O-N-Y, etc. are hardwood for furniture which is found here. Wax used in furniture, shoe polish and candles are obtained from the carnauba, C-A-R-N-A-U-B-A, palm trees grown here. Uh, quinine, Q-U-I-N-I-N-E, is extracted from Kinchona tree, C-I-N-C-H-O-N-A. Pardon my pronunciation if they are wrong. Uh, number two, minerals. Oil and natural gas are found in Venezuela, Ecuador, um, Colombia, Argentina, and Brazil. Brazil also leads in the production of iron, bauxite, B-A-U-X-I-T-E, and tin. Chile is the largest producer of copper and nitrates. Silver, copper, lead, and zinc are mined in Peru. The slopes of Andes Mountains have rich reserves of gold and copper. There is an extensive gold mine in Atacama Desert. Brazil is also known for its water resources and hence produces the largest amount of hydroelectricity in South America. 3. Agriculture About one-eighth of South America's land is used for agriculture and grazing. Agriculture is chiefly done in the Pampas in Argentina and Uruguay, parts of Brazilian highlands, Chile and East Coast. South America has some of the largest farms in the world. Argentina is one of the largest producers of wheat in the world. Wheat is grown in the Pampas region. Corn, maize, is a native of tropical America and is mostly grown crop throughout the continent. Coca, C-O-C-O-A, sugarcane and coffee are grown abundantly in Brazil and Brazil is the largest producer of coffee. Number four, animal rearing. South America has extensive grasslands and hence animal rearing is an important activity. Cattle are reared for beef, which is exported. Sheep are reared for wool and meat. The indigenous tribes live in Andes Mountains region, rear sheep of 
llama uh, species l l a m a llamas are uh, reared for carrying loads and uh, meat and wool Five industries. Industries are found in small scale in South America. Brazil is the industrial giant of the continent, followed by Argentina, Venezuela, and Chile. Number six, fishing. South American rivers, especially the Amazon, have abundant fish. Fishing, therefore, is an important industry. Chile has developed a large commercial marine fishing industry. Ecuador is a leader in shrimp exports. Argentina also has some good fishing grounds. 7. Trade The chief exports of South America include raw materials such as coca, banana, meat, sugar, wheat, timber, copper, wood, gold, bauxite, petroleum, etc. The chief imports include medicine, machinery, chemicals, textiles, etc. The trade of South American countries is mostly concentrated to European countries. There are many countries in South America, but the most important are Brazil and Argentina. The distribution of population is quite uneven in Brazil. The causes of uneven distribution of population are as follows. 1. Amazon Basin Amazon Basin is very hot and humid. Floods occur occasionally. The dense tropical rainforest is not easy to clear. Even if the forests are cleared, there will be decrease in soil fertility due to the heavy convectional rainfalls. That is why government has not invested much in the development of this region. However, Trans-Amazon Highway is under construction in Brazil. The process of cutting down the trees and mining is going on a very fast rate which may affect the environment and lifestyle of the people who live in Amazon Basin. 2. Central Brazil Central Brazil is an extensive plateau area and has uncertain rainfall which leads to severe droughts. It has less density of population. Some minerals are available. There is no good transportation facility. Number 3. Coastal Region of South Brazil The southern coastal regions are narrow and lie in the temperate zone. It is greatly influenced by the sea and wind direction. It gets rainfall throughout the year. The coastal plains are favorable and fertile for cultivation. There are many ports and harbors to promote trade and business. Tourism industry is well developed. Government has made a lot of investment for the development of this region. This has led to high density of population in this region. Number 4. Southeast Brazil Southeast Brazil is also under the influence of the sea. Higher plain areas have the most pleasant climate. Rainfall is regular and is most favorable for coffee production. Minerals are also available. There is a good facility of transportation. This is the most developed region. Number 5. Northeast Brazil Northeast Brazil is very hot throughout the year with uncertain rainfall. Sometimes this area is affected by terrible storms. There is scarcity of food and has a high birth rate. Agriculture, animal rearing, industry, and fishing are the important economic activities of South America depending upon the natural resources available. Agriculture in South America is well developed in Brazilian highland, central Chile, and northern part of Argentina. Brazil is the leading producer of coffee in the world. Brazil's cotton is famous all over the world and is exported to countries of Asia. Argentina exports large quantities of wheat and wheat flour. Animal rearing is important in the tropical and temperate grasslands of South America. Argentina is one of the largest producer and exporter of meat and beef in the world. 
Here, the cattle are looked after by a group of cowboys called Gokosh, spelling G-A-U-C-H-O-S. Uh, pardon me if I, uh, my pronunciation is not correct. Um, South America is not so developed in industries. Brazil is the leading industrial country where industries are run on foreign investment. Most of the industries are agro-based and mineral-based. Next to Brazil is Argentina. It has industries based on meat packing, flour milling, leather tanning, and food processing. There are some oil refineries in Venezuela and Peru. Chile and Peru are famous for fishing industries. Peru alone is one of the most important fishing nations in the world. Petroleum is one of the most important minerals found in South America. Venezuela is the main producer of petroleum. Gold is mined in Guana Highland and Plateau of Brazil. Chile is the leading producer of copper, while Peru is the third largest producer of silver. Brazil has large deposits of iron ore and copper. Brazil and Argentina are famous countries for football. Activities, page number 215. Number one, Spanish and Portuguese defeated South American indigenous tribes and destroyed Inca civilization and established their civilization. Discuss in the class and clarify this fact with examples. Number two, why do the people living in the areas of Andes mountains use llamas for carrying loads? Discuss and present in the class. Exercise, short answer questions. Number one, about 75% of the total population of Brazil lives in the city areas. Write a paragraph comparing this fact with Nepal's context. Number two, the economic activities of South American countries in Nepal are almost similar. Present examples related to this fact. Number three, write similarities and differences between yaks found in the mountain region of Nepal and llamas, L-L-A-M-A-S, I might be wrong with my pronunciation for this animal, found in the Andes mountain range of South America. Number four, the people living in the central parts of South American countries are migrating to the coastal areas and big cities. This trend has uh, led high population density in the coastal region and lack of manpower in the central region. What impacts may it cause in the future? Prepare a list. Long answer questions. Number one, describe the major economic activities of South America. Number two, give regions. A. Argentina exports meat and wheat. B. Brazil is famous for coffee. C. Peru is developing as an important fishing center. Project work. Prepare a table showing the similarities and differences found between Andes mountain range and Himalayan mountain range. Present your work in the class. This is the end of Unit 6, Lesson 11. This podcast is dedicated to visually impaired students. So if you know anybody who needs this book um, to listen and learn, please share the link and also please subscribe the channel. Thank you and all the best.